Hello friends! What in the world? It is Vlogmas Day 1! Didn't Vlogmas just end last year? This year literally flew by so fast. I cannot believe it is December 1st when you guys are watching this and it is officially Vlogmas Day 1. Hi! Can I have a cafe latte hazelnut? For the hot? Extra ice please. And Sorry? with a half 2% milk, half sweet cream, and that's it. Alright. Perfect, thank you. Of course, we had to start Vlogmas Day 1 with Starbucks. Okay, so for a while, I was drinking Better Buzz Coffee, which is such an amazing coffee place. I think they started down in San Diego, and then they brought a location up here, and it's very, very popular. I will say they make very good coffee. They also make the most delicious, not too sweet, not too plain matcha. It is so, so good. Carlos loves their Red Bull Mango Slush, I believe. They just have a lot of options. However, they opened about a month ago and they've gone really busy because they're really good and their quality has kind of gone down. Every single time I go and get coffee there, it just does not taste like the first week that they were open. So I've been kind of sad about that. But if you guys do go to Better Buzz Coffee, they have a drink called the best drink ever. It's literally called the best drink ever and it's a coffee drink and it is so good. It's the best iced coffee ever. But lately, they've just been kind of off their game so I've been back to Starbucks and right now my current obsession is in case you guys want to try it they also Starbucks also has like all the holiday drinks out right now which I haven't ordered one holiday drink yet I should have gotten it today for vlogmas day one but anyways my current drink at Starbucks in case you guys want to try it is the cafe latte hazelnut with half 2% milk half sweet cream and you can get it either hot which Michelle tried it the other day hot and she loved it or if you're like me who I cannot stand hot drinks. You guys know this about me. I do not do hot drinks. Even if it's like negative five degrees outside, I will be that person with a ice drink or you can get it extra ice. So you can get it hot or ice, but that is basically what you order. And it is so good. If your barista makes it right, cause you guys know every Starbucks is different, but if your barista makes it right, honey, it is delicious. It's buttery, it's creamy. It's got like a hint of hazelnut, a hint of coffee, not too strong, not too sweet, not too plain not too bitter it's so good I feel like with my hair all sleep back oh my god my hairline I look a little bit weird because it's like blending into the background we're almost there I'm so excited for my drink it is gonna be like fa la 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 you guys the other day I had 700 Starbucks points on the app if you guys go to Starbucks often you have to sign up for their points it's free to sign up and every dollar you spend I believe is two points sometimes they have like triple points for special days and I had like 700 points and I basically got a venti drink, a panini, and a pastry all for free because I used my points. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I hope they made it right. You know Starbucks is just like hit and miss, you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. You guys have to go try it. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, off to Target we go. Okay, I'm in the $5, $1, $3 section at Target. And they have such cute little things for gift baskets. So they have these like mini cards with envelopes. So that's one of the designs. But look how cute this one is, you guys. I love how cute this one is. And they also have their calendars out. And then if you're wrapping any like miniature stuff, they have this wrapping paper. That's really cute. Look at all the festive wrapping paper down here. I'm also looking for Christmas socks. And they have really cute ones here for $3. I think this is $3. This is maybe $3. I don't know how much this one is. This is really cute and they're really warm and cozy. I think these will be really cute for the gift baskets. I'm looking for a Christmas card pack. This is really cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, this might be the winner. They have really cute packs in here. Wow. I was looking at these and I was like, these are so freaking cute. I thought they were just decor. It's a freaking candle. What? I've been debating about this wreath right here. I've been eyeing it for the last like two weeks, but I don't know. I think it's so cute and I would put it like above the stove in the kitchen to add a little greenery in the white kitchen. I think I might get it. You guys, what do you think? I, we're not going to decorate until Wednesday when my garland comes, but this is so cute.
before I go home, I wanted to kind of mock up the gift basket for my neighbors. And this is what I'm thinking so far. Everything fits perfectly, but I might trade this out for one of the red and white stripes or put like another one on the side. But isn't this so cute? Look at all the wrapping paper. I just grabbed this one. I need to wrap a present for Secret Santa. And I think they're so cute. Oh my god. This is the one I grab. I love like trucks during Christmas. All of these are so cute. We are home. After Target, I went to Stater Brothers because I had to grab like chicken and a few things because I'm making like a chicken rice bowl tonight, which I'm so excited about. Before I head to Target, I popped in my jasmine rice in my rice cooker. So now it's ready to go. But I got a package today. Yay! I ordered these on Amazon. I found them through this TikToker. Her name is Danielle. I don't actually know her username, but she is the one that, I don't know if you guys will know who I'm talking about, but she eats this crispy tuna sandwich. She lives in New York City with her husband and she eats this crispy tuna sandwich and it has like the most perfect crunch whenever she eats it. I've never tried it before. I think they're only located in New York but I remember finding out that there's also an LA location. Comment down below and let me know if you remember her username. I will have to look for her but I religiously watch her and I love her so much. Oh this might give it away. Her family owns a caviar business. Does that, does that ring a bell? I don't remember her name. But anywho, she recommended these. She takes them whenever she feels really sick or especially during this time of the year when we're all getting sick and we don't know exactly what it is. She recommended this. So I went on Amazon and I got a pack of two because usually, oh my gosh, knock on wood, Carlos and I do not get sick ever, but when it comes December, oh my goodness, we always, always, always catch something. So I am praying and hoping that this will get us through the month of December and we're all gonna be healthy and happy. They're basically these liquid vitamin C things that you can put into your drink. I saw her take it directly and then just like basically suck down a whole bottle of water. But I'm really excited to try these. I will take them for the first time tomorrow, not tonight. I will also link them down below for you guys. But if you want to screenshot this, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like that vitamin, the vitamin C thing that I take, the powder that you put in the drink. But I've heard that that one isn't as like like healthy for you. I've heard this is better. So I'm excited to try this and let you guys know. So if I don't get sick during the month of December, then yes, my loves, it works. Also, before I make dinner, I want to have a snack before I eat my dinner because the chicken's going to take a while. And as I was checking out at Sata Brothers, I saw this. I was interested. I've never had it in my life. Is this good? Am I about to cry right now trying this? The brand is Bumblebee Snack on the Run Tuna Salad Kit with crackers. I'm going to try it for the first time with you guys. If if it's good. Oh, it comes with, oh wow. Oh, look at this little spoon. Let's try it for the first time. It comes with crackers in a bag and then I believe this is the tuna salad here. So this is probably something that you just like pop in your bag if you're taking a road trip. They also have a chicken one. Oh, really? Yeah. You know about this? Yeah, we used to sell it at Reddit. Oh, Carlos is not trying this one because he doesn't like fish. I like tuna. Oh, well then try it with me. I didn't know. Oh my God, it's like I haven't been with you for like five years. Tuna is the only thing that I'll eat. I don't know, because sometimes you're like, I like salmon, but then I offer you like a salmon plate and you say no. It's like very rare. Okay. But tuna for sure, like tuna is like Here, the baby. only thing that I can eat. It smells great. It, look, it came with a cute little spoon. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me show you guys. What a cute little spoon. It looks yummy. I put type of tea on mine. Really? Yeah, you want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it the way that you eat it too. This is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> Riley's dying for it. Tapatio. I love tapatio. Okay, a lot? Is that too much? No. Okay, ready, baby? Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm so excited. My first time. I've had tuna salad, but not this specific, like, t on the go kind of thing. Yeah, this one has, like, I don't know, but I usually eat it with corn. Oh, I hope this is good, honestly, because I would love to just, like, buy this and pop it in my purse. Bon appetitis. Good. Mmm. I like it. That's really good. That's delicious. One more? I'm okay. You can put that in the fridge, baby. Oh. Wow. That's actually really good. Mmm. This is bomb. Mm-hmm. Mommy loves you guys. Mommy loves you guys. Okay, mommy's gonna turn on the TV. Oh man, jealous. Why? Because you were getting everyone loves you. Come on, baby. I know, mommy smells like tuna. Guess what time it is? Oh God, I hate the show. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to watch it. I'll Welcome. call you when the chicken bowl is done. Alrighty. It's Laguna Beach time! Hey, it's on Netflix, babe. Even though I bought the whole season already. 
<laughs> you love it, stop! Carlos hates this show. Look how big this is, you guys. Baby. Look at this. Holy crap. That's huge. I have everything prepped here. This is chopped up romaine lettuce. Romaine is my favorite. And then I have chopped up cucumbers in miniature little pieces here. I bought this at Seda Brothers. It's just diced up little different peppers. They're so beautiful, smells amazing. And then we also have avocado. I'm waiting for the chicken to be done. We have 11 minutes left. By the way, you guys, this is like the perfect time to buy my favorite air fryer on Amazon. I'll link it down down there below for you guys if you have someone in your life who loves to cook, who loves an air fryer, who lives on their own, who lives with their partner, birthday presents, Christmas presents, wedding gifts, this is the best air fryer ever. I love it. I believe it comes in white, black, and red. I've had it for almost two years now actually and it is amazing. I also bought my mom one as well. I'm gonna mix mine in this bowl. It's good? It's bomb. Carlos really likes it, you guys. Thank you. Of course. I think it's kind of like Chipotle, but not really. I like this more. I like it too. I like putting everything in this big bowl, you guys, and then mixing it up, and then you don't have to mix it up tomorrow when you have leftovers. Bon appetit. Okay, I don't need 20 oh my, that is so good you guys, wow. I know some people are gonna be like, where's the sauce? But I seasoned the chicken so much and so well that you really don't need a sauce or anything. This is so good. I'm not gonna chipotle anymore. <laughs> I can make it at home. This is delicious. Just missing like corn and like other things, but such a simple meal and delicious. Okay, let me pack this up. I realized that I never gave you guys a Target haul of everything that I got at Target. I literally left and then came home. Okay, first and foremost, I got this jar, which if you guys watch the pantry tour, then you know that I have this in the biggest size and the smallest size, and then I saw that they had a medium size, which I actually need because we have extra candy that I didn't have room for since I didn't have an extra glass jar. So I'm going to fill this up in a little bit. Isn't it cute? So cute, right? Has a lid or what you can also do is use this as a flower jar as well, like a vase to put flowers in. It'd be so cute, but I'm gonna put a lid and then I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I'll put her over here. And then I got these baskets for $5 each and I'm gonna use this to do all of my gift baskets for our neighbors. I think I'm either gonna do that this week or next week. 
last year I did it really late. I think we ended up doing gift baskets for all of our neighbors like only a few days before Christmas. So this year I'm trying to aim before the end of the first week. So I think probably tomorrow or the day after we'll do these gift baskets. But they were $5 and they're so cute. I love this kind of rustic picnic-y vibe. These are also really cute for like little picnic projects or if you're having parties and you wanna use these for utensils and napkins. $5 at Target. As you guys saw at Target, I kinda did like a little mock-up. I ended up returning the little pouches of chocolate because I found these for real, uh, for real. <laughs> I found these for rare. Maybe I can't say it. Ferrero? Ferrero Rocher? Yeah. Okay. I found these Ferrero Rocher chocolate, cho giant chocolate things. I actually used these for last year's Friendsgiving. We hosted all of our friends for like a grand Friendsgiving dinner. And these are so, so cute on everyone's plate where they're sitting as like little party favors. So if you guys are having like a Christmas dinner or you're looking for like cute little knickknacks, this is adorable. Everyone always freaks out about them. Target has them. I believe you can also find them on Amazon or like Walmart or grocery stores like Stater Brothers or Albertsons will have them. They are delicious and they taste just like the small ones that we all know and love. I got some white ribbon because I wanted to do little white bows on the baskets. I thought the baskets looked kind of like plain. And also you guys, this reusable Target bag was only like $3.99 I believe. It is gigantic. I've been looking every wear for it so I was really happy that my Target had some today and then I got more ribbon I think this black and white one I'm going to tie on our fireplace when our garland comes on Wednesday and we put stockings down I'm gonna do little bows and then I also got a pack of Christmas cards instead of writing everyone individual cards. I just got a whole pack. This is a pack of 10 and it was only like a few bucks. So cute, has a little Santa. And then I got every neighbor a pack of cards as well. This is why I wanted to like put the gift baskets at their door really early on so that in case they need cards to use throughout the holiday season, they have a pack of 12. This was a pack of 12 cards for $1. Such a good deal at Target, you guys. It's in the dollar section at the front of the store. And then moving forward, I saw this and it was such a good deal. This was $12. It is a mini waffle maker and it makes Christmas tree waffles. You guys see that? There's a Christmas tree on the waffle and it's also the color green. This is very popular on Amazon. I know everyone freaks out about the mini waffle maker. So I got every neighbor that. And this, I thought this was such a good gift. This is Dr. Teal's Relax and Relief. So in here you have Epsom salt, you have foaming bath, body wash, moisturizing body oil, and then you have body lotion. I feel like during the holidays, we're all like resting and everything can be a little bit chaotic at times with like parties and families and gifts and friends. So it is such a perfect time to just calm yourself and relax, take, and take a nice bath. So I got every family this. This was like, I think like 10 or 12 bucks and there was a 15% off discount code for the second purchase so that was really cool I thought this was such a good present I'll try to find this online and link it down below for you guys such a good deal they had great deals at Target so I got a bunch of those and then I got all of the neighbors these little like cooking what is it kitchen towels I was gonna get the green one with the gingerbread but I thought it was like too green so I thought this would be more appropriate and also they can use this year-round this will be also perfect for 4th of July or if they want to bring it out for Valentine's Day, for spring and summer. This is so cute. By the way, these kitchen towels were $2 each, I believe. It was super inexpensive. Moving forward, I also got tape because I'll be wrapping a few presents. And then under here, I just got my blueberry bagels that you guys know I love. Okay, moving on to the next bag. We got more mini waffle makers. So that first one I showed you guys was a Christmas tree. And this mini waffle maker from Target. This one does a gingerbread man on the waffle. So if you guys look here, you'll see the gingerbread man. Again, $12. Such a good deal. I love it. And this one is red, as you guys see. And then the Christmas tree one is green. They're so festive. If you guys are looking for a cute little 
little presents. Really good for like White Elephant or Secret Santa. And then I found these in the sale section at Target. I don't know why they were on sale because they're the holiday edition and they're limited. So I would think that they would be full price, but I got them for $2. This is Mrs. Meyer's Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner, and it is in the peppermint scent. It smells so good, so relax relaxing, absolutely delicious. I just love it, so I got two. That's how obsessed I was when I tested out the scent. And then also, last but not least, every neighbor is going to get a holiday candle. I did this last year, and I really like it. I feel like it's a really nice holiday touch. Everyone loves candles, or almost everyone loves candles. And also, majority majority of our neighbors have dogs, so I made sure that they were soy scented candles because soy candles are actually really good and healthy, or not healthy, but good and safe for your dogs. So I made sure they were soy candles, and this smell was cookie dough, I believe. It smells like you baked a bunch of cookies, and it's amazing. So I got a bunch of the candles here. I think candles are such cute little presents. If you wanna like take a ribbon and tie a bow around it, that would be such a cute little surprise. I also, <laughs> I feel like there's a hair in my throat. I also grabbed one for me as well. And then I also grabbed another candle for our house. This is the Fireside Flannel and this smells so good. It's like, <laughs> it's like a very sophisticated pine smell. Very Christmassy, but not too strong. The jars look so cute in the pantry. So this is the super big one. It's the biggest size at Target. And then this is the small one. And now I have the medium one. So I'm actually gonna fill this up with candy. I have a whole bag of lollipops here. I think that's all the candy we have, actually. I just got like these new gummies that are so amazing. I found them through, again, Dan on TikTok, but they don't come until next week. And I'm thinking about maybe putting the gummies in here. So in the meantime, let's pour all of the candy in here. I have extra candy left over from Halloween, you guys. Halloween. I think it really adds like a nice touch to the pantry. Although like Carlos and I really don't eat candy. Rarely do I ever eat candy, but I feel like when my family comes, like my nieces are gonna be obsessed with the candy jar. I don't think I got a chance to tell you guys why I'm so excited about this freaking candy section in my pantry. And it's such honestly like a silly story, but there's actually a reason why I decided to put candy jars here in the pantry dead in center and why this whole situation makes me so happy. So when I was in, I believe second grade, it was the summer before second grade, my mom bought her first house back in Pennsylvania. This is when we lived back in York, Pennsylvania, which is my hometown. It was the summer before second grade. My mom bought her first house. We finally were able to move out of our apartment and we were so excited. I know my mom was like super thrilled, super big accomplishment. As you can probably tell, when we moved to the new house, it was the first time that I had a backyard because living in an apartment, rarely do you have a backyard. So it was the first time that I had a backyard and it was the first time that like I had a backyard, but also like neighbors where you could be like, hey, Hey, can Kim come out and play after school? Like it was one of those situations. Like we moved from the city into the suburbs. So it was kind of like a very different lifestyle. And so I remember always going next door to my neighbor's house and they had two kids. It was a sister and a brother. It was Zach who was I think a year younger than me. And then Madison was like a few years younger than us probably. And I remember going to their house and in their kitchen they had had this candy display and it literally looked like I don't know how to explain it because I I don't know what it's called and I can't I can't find it on Google because I don't know what to type in to find it but it was one of those like candy displays where like it would be like containers of candy but it would be like one tier and then like another like a second tier that was like a little bit higher and then like another tier that was higher and it was all candy jars and I remember every time I would go to their house I would always ask for like a few pieces of candy and then I would save it in my what in my mom's room because I didn't have my own room at the time I was sharing a bedroom with my mom but I remember saving the candy because my mom being you know Vietnamese or like Asian households they don't have candy laying around and if we do have candy laying around it's like the most 
like a cultural like a Vietnamese candy ever like we don't have what I meant is like we don't have dum-dums laying around or big lollipops or like you know Ferrero Rocher or like airheads or things like that candies that you know I was used to eating at school so I would always save them and I always told myself one day when I grow old <laughs> I will have a candy section in my pantry and it felt really appropriate when we redid the pantry and when I looked at the space I was like oh my god like it was meant to be like this is the part where I'm gonna put my candy jar so I'm very very excited about my candy section this one is gonna remain em empty because I'm gonna put my new gummies that are coming next week that I can't wait to share with you guys because they're such good gummies and they're absolutely delicious okay we're done If you guys were here last year, then you know the tradition for Vlogmas. We do 25 videos. Well, maybe more if we have the energy for it. But we do 25 videos and if our hard drive doesn't break on us on the 24th day. Do you guys remember that last year? But anyways, obviously you guys know this is Vlogmas, but we also do 25 days of giveaways. This is our advent calendar that I bought last year and it's actually available right now too. I'll link it down below for you guys if you and your family are friends are into advent calendars. I love this one. I think it's like the cutest advent calendar that I've ever seen. It's from Magnolia. I'll go ahead and link it for you guys. But in every single one of these boxes, we are going to count down because they have a number. We're going to count down to Christmas and in every single box, there is a prize for the vlog. And I'm so, so excited. Obviously, our huge announcement is that we are doing 25 days of giveaways again. I know a lot of you on Instagram were curious and wondering wondering if we were gonna do the giveaways. I've spoken about it like a few times, but in case you did miss it, then that's probably why you could be a little bit curious. But yes, we really wanna do this every single year and we want every single year to be a little bit better than the year before. So Carlos and I basically wrote all the prizes on little pieces of paper and we jumbled all of them up and we closed our eyes and we put them into these individual boxes. So we kind of have an idea, but we don't know where the prizes are throughout the month so that's where the exciting part is so we're, so we're actually surprised just as you guys when we're pulling this out so since today is vlog vlogmas day one I'm gonna go ahead and find number one here which I'm so excited about last vlogmas we had really awesome prizes to you guys like I think last year we gave away a whole caraway set we bought a subscriber Disneyland ticket what else did we do last year baby I think we air gave fryer. away we gave away an air fryer we gave away a Dyson vacuum and all of this is just gifts for you guys. None of these are sponsored. Companies did not send us these. We are gifting you guys. These are literally 
personal gifts that we want to give back to you guys for saying thank you so much for just watching our videos and hanging out with us and also being a part of our life throughout the whole entire year and I think that's why Rocky's being jealous <laughs> I think that's why I love vlogmas so much is I, well one I love the holidays and two I just love giving back to you guys thank you so much for giving us the life that we have now and thank you for watching our videos and helping us you know put a roof over our head and provide for our dogs and we really really appreciate your love and support and I hope it never goes unnoticed so anywho we are gonna pull prize number one for vlogmas day one here I'll have Carlos do it I'll snap no you do it first I'll do it tomorrow oh also we usually have a tree it's going up tomorrow we're gonna put the tree up tomorrow <gasps> no oh no which one was that one what yeah. number was that oh it's one. Oh, it's one <laughs> it was meant to be okay so prize number one is oh by the way I totally Jeez. forgot what's up in order to enter <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, we're so excited that we forgot. Okay, it's been a long time, it's been a whole year. In order to enter to win this giveaway prize for today's video, you must be following me on Instagram, you must be subscribing to this channel. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to the Kim Tai channel. And if you guys want brownie points, subscribe to my mukbang channel as well. But the requirements are, yeah, you must be following me on Instagram. I'll link my Instagram down below. You must be following and subscribing to this YouTube channel. And and you have to leave a comment down below telling us what your favorite part of this vlog is and please 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 include your Instagram username so I can reach out to you and message you on there every single day before the new video goes up I always go into the comments choose a winner and I will always pin their comment at the top so that's also usually how you know if you've won or not or if a winner has been chosen so I'll put all of that down there below if you guys are interested but you'll get the hang of this at we post every single day so the first prize is yay oh yay <laughs> <laughs> this is the first prize you guys oh my gosh what is it baby we are going to pay for somebody's internet bill yay so we wanted to give back to you guys this year we're gonna cover one of our subscribers internet bill for this month or maybe you can choose January or February or March whatever it may be you get to choose one month and we will cover your internet bill oh, yeah. if you guys want to enter this giveaway go ahead and follow me on Instagram subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below telling us your favorite part of this vlog and including your Instagram name so I can message you and reach out to you on there by the way there are so many scams going around these days with people mm -hmm. making fake accounts with my you know username and my profile picture if you are not hearing from my Instagram which is verified and when you're clicking on the account it's not my actual Instagram with like all of my photos and stuff it is not me you guys I will reach out with you or to you on Instagram but my account will be verified and you will know it's me for sure also you guys can kind of tell when somebody's trying to get information out of you oh yeah we will never yeah, ask so we're you never anything. gonna ask you for like a bank account or anything no. like that that's also another like dead giveaway if somebody's asking we'll never yeah. ask you for money yeah we'll never ask you for your bank or personal information the only thing that I will ever ask you for is your phone number name and address because if you do win a giveaway then we can um, it to you. that yeah. requires like a physical object then mm -hmm. I have to ship it to you but for example today since it's like a bill we would have a conversation where you would give me information that you feel comfortable with so we can help you cover that internet bill but just be very cautious because the internet is crazy and I know there's been a lot of scammers on YouTube and Instagram never give away your personal information I also am willing to send you a picture of myself or call you or FaceTime you to prove that it's me on the other line as well so just be cautious but that wraps up vlogmas day uh, one ah uh, dang I did I was gonna say something but I blanked out it had to do with that the whole scammers yeah scamming oh and like to enter it's like it doesn't cost money to enter so if somebody's asking you like hey you know send me like the x amount of money so that you can enter the giveaway it's like it doesn't work like that at all yeah no this is completely gifting for you guys we want to give back to you think of it as 25 days of christmas gifts for you guys so thank you so much for hanging out with us we will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video <laughs> Um, we upload a vlog every single day at 7 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So come join us every single morning. We love you guys. Goodbye. Farewell. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye.